Uh, Mr. Chairman, I would like to make a motion to add a proclamation to honor Pride Month to our agenda. That request at last night's Mecklenburg County Board of Commissioners meeting set off a tense 20-minute discussion that got pretty intense at times. In the end, the county did not issue a proclamation supporting Pride Month. And Mary Calkins is live this morning. Mary, you listened into that meeting. Walk us through exactly what played out here. Well, Alex, Mary, it was uncomfortable at times to watch and listen to commissioners as they had this discussion. Now, what it came down to in the end, according to Chairman George Dunlap, was following rules and procedures. Now, according to county rules, items can be added to the agenda by 4 p.m. 11 business days before a regular business meeting. Now, there's a second deadline for commissioners, which is seven days in advance. And after those pass, the chairman must approve any late items. Well, according to Dunlap, Commissioner Pat Cotham asked the county clerk last Friday to add the proclamation to the agenda. After the clerk contacted Dunlap, he rejected it, citing those rules. And that brings us to last night. If all nine commissioners agree, an item can be added, which is what Cotham did. And that set off a series of testy exchanges. We should do our part. We have done it in the past. We should do it again. To have this level of of angst and tension around a proclamation. No one up here feels good about where we are right now. Um, it's not a good situation. This is not about whether or not you support the LGBT community. It is about whether or not you follow process. I feel like the chairman is being villainized and it really troubles me. Now, in the end, commissioners voted and seven voted in favor of adding the proclamation to the agenda, while two others, Chairman Dunlap and Commissioner Elaine Powell, voted against it. Now, both clarified their decision was based in following the rules and both reiterated their support for pride as well as LGBTQ community. Now, coming up in 30 minutes, you're hearing from advocates who watched as the whole thing went down and they weighed in. So you're going to hear that in a half hour. But for now, reporting live in Charlotte, Mary Calkins, WBTV on your side.